ಸ್ತುನ್ವಂತಿ ದಿವ್ಯೈಸ್ತವ ವೇದೈ ಸಾಂಗಪದಕ್ರಮೋಪನಿಷದೈ ಗಾಯಂತ ಸಾಮಗಾಸ್ತಿ ತದ್ಗತ ಮನಸ ಪಶ್ಯಂತ ಯೋಗಿನೋ ಯಾಂತನ್ನ ವಿದುಸುರಾಸುರಗಣ ಜನನೀ ಶಾರದಾ ದೇವಿ ರಾಮಕೃಷ್ಣ ಜಗದ್ಗುರು ಪಾದಪದ್ಮೇತೋಶ್ರಿತ್ವಾ ಪ್ರಣಮಿ ಮುಹುರ್ಮು ವೆಲ್ the parents are also there i think students will be there no uh, students are very less all the parents the thing is i want you all to go deeper and deeper into yourself and deeper into every matter that you take up to the just like westerners are entering into with science uh, we have to enter into our spiritual life our life and the transcendental realm in which the everlasting peace will be able to attain so our life is slowly moving away our next generation next generation is going to come so we must prepare ourselves what we can give what legacy we can leave behind for the next generation and go their life and must be very happy joyful throughout they must go in a perfectly joyful life so first i will take up the responsibilities of the parents because unless we change we cannot expect our generation to change minimum requirements that a parent needs we will consider now first thing is we see everywhere identity crisis everybody has forgotten their identity children have forgotten they are children students have forgotten they are students parents have forgotten they are parents teachers have forgotten they are teachers this is the condition a few decades back even let alone when we were in our childhood days even few decades back we see four or five decades back the student teachers relationship parents children relationship was entirely different so much love and affection the teachers used to give and re- respect the students used to give just like family the teachers used to teach just like their own children with great care and concern which we are missing today hmm. there is a tremendous transformation because science has conquered my human mind they don't understand life is there there is a purpose of human life all this are kept aside so we have to get our identity we are parents once we get that identity we are parents we are safe we can build up our life and our children life also when we see this we we must have full love for our children and future generation that is when love means it is sacrifice love is not something through which we enjoy it is through which we sacrifice ourselves even in scriptures love is defined as a great sacrifice so one thing first we need is a lifestyle how do i live in this world 
what children can imbibe from me lifestyle an important part of life how morning waking up my father in my childhood days used to never not even a day he has missed getting up at 4 30 in the morning because we have to get up at five in my whole life i have not got up even a single day after five o'clock hold till today i am 72 now from childhood days that is the training the he used to get up every day for our sake the moment a child is born we lose first thing is marriage the moment you are married then it is a sacrifice in Canada we say you know heli ho gongila keli ho beko we cannot <laughs> that the stage we come to uh, that that is a sacrifice i am going to sacrifice all my freedom are kept aside now combined moments similarly we see the morning getting up onwards how do i spend morning my hand wash mouth wash and all that immediately they are ready for a walk children visited for studies so parents used to take the children and go for morning walk do we do all that for our children's sake sacrifice our sleep and do all that and life must be god centered not individual centered getting up we must bow down to the lord see that children also start bowing down they will be cute curiously means giving all attention they will be observing how my elders are living they, it comes as a tradition as a see and elder brother what he does younger brother will do parents what they do uh, in some houses i see father is called anna anna <laughs> brother brother because um, younger in the house will call a father as anna these children also will start calling anna like that the so much of imitation will be there the imitation is one of the so whole day how i spend my day how do i live in this world attending to the duties of life and all this this you understand you develop yourself the next thing we have to go is customs from parents grandparents a custom is flowing in our life when guests come how do i treat them how do i talk to them i went to one house the parents were doctors small children i tapped the door and a small boy came and opened the door he was strange dress of mine swami's dress he just was surprised somebody standing at the door he is about three four years maybe you are swami he asked i said yes please come in sit i will talk all my mother how lovingly he invited and made us me to sit and ran to call mother uh, this is the our customs how we receive guests how we what is the social relationships we keep how to live in a society with others see most of the children run away as soon as a relative comes we need we need elders to guide our life otherwise we will go some other direction as the friends and the society moves a strong wave of uh, materialism is coming they will, will not be able to escape the few years in that world they will start weeping so we must give them tremendous strength to see that uh, all these the festivals we used to do and the ganesha festival comes means so many dishes will be prepared at home to four days five days before it will start 
All children, all people are busy at home. Somebody decorating the Ganesha, Krishna's festival. All this we are missing. Because both parents are going for um, uh, earning. Children and family customs are left out. Speaking of, even now I saw where Balchandra Maharaj, that is our Vibhudanaji, is staying in that street. It is just next to ISKCON in Bangalore. Uh, so for official work, he goes and stays there. You see, good morning, all women coming out with water, early morning, just it is dawn. They are cleaning the front, putting rangoli, column. So nice. Every house is smelling of uh, incense stick. If you just walk along the street, uh, yes. some are singing in their small voice, the praises of God. These customs we have to carry down. And then our nature. What is our nature? The children are going to imbibe the nature that we have. So nature, our, how is my nature? How do I feel? How means nature means swabhava. In myself, what am I? Uh, independent of how I behave. So in that we see what people, all people accept is honesty. If you are honest, honesty, simplicity, humility and compassion. Are you compassionate? These few things, it must become your nature, very nature. And people like the pers people who don't comment on others. Hmm. Go on commenting about the government or this and that or these people or that people. Highlight someone, you should not belittle someone else. Hmm. So this nature must be ours. Hmm. Be free from desires, cross desires. Then children will become self-controlled automatically. Hmm. If we are desireless and calm, children, everyone will like you. And your responsibility is till your children or the next generation stands on their own leg, then you are free, totally free. Hmm. So till then you have to sacrifice a great deal. So all this holy mother used to tell Sharda Devi, <laughs> today you are very... <laughs> Let there be smile on your lips. Remember, huh? Smile on your lips and then compassion in your eyes. You must, your eyes must be, you see the Holy Mother's eyes, how compassionate it is. Vatsalya, affection in your heart. Vatsalya in your heart and readiness to serve, run about and serve others in your limbs. And silence in your mouth. <laughs> silence in the mouth because no problems will raise. Lips on the will, uh, um, uh, smile on the lips uh, is such a thing. It will solve all the problems. Mm. Problems are solved by you, so your smile. And no problems will come because of your silence. Others will instigate you to do all the activities. So this is the nature we have to build up within ourselves. It must become our very nature. Morning when children get up and see. And never get stressed. Don't show a stressed face to children or anybody. Always calm and pleasant. In your, whatever be the inner pain or this one you are suffering, place it at the feet of God. You have someone to care for you eternally. It is easy within your heart. Why express the outside? No tension, no calm, pleasant feelings you express. So this is about your nature, how you... Um, Develop your nature, make it your swabhava. Then the next comes is culture. 
we belong to a culture the supreme culture which is dependent on eternal values not uh, something haphazardly we are going as the time comes we go on changing our attitude and no it dependent on eternal principles eternal principles eternal values eternal ideals for a constantly changing society society changes we change we, our nature change our profession change but our the eternal values will remain same so try to bring that culture culture and civilization are different civilization is how i can utilize the nature and make it my make my living possible but in case of culture how i can be happy how can i be joyful in life uh, now from stone age if it is uh, true and right <laughs> we speculate only hmm from stairs to stone age how we went to st started living in a cave agriculture all these ways of living is civilization and this the, even government comes within the governing governance comes within the limitations of civilization building up cities everything but how i make myself happy and others happy is a part of culture play uh, it begins with play how play started in the society social conditions then arts painting singing bhajans this that so many things dance hmm everything is a part of culture that makes man happy to himself and happy to others so this culture try to bring that culture see i am trying my best to introduce all types of music in our ashrama flute sitar tabla harmonium vocal singing all this even formerly when we were a small group i was teaching them dance also putting steps and make them dance professionally so nothing all this you have to bring in your uh, family family must be a ideal family beautiful anybody a swami comes he must be happy a householder comes he must be happy to see you living oh this is life this is ideal we have to live like this this kind of bringing culture into our life then two important things that you have to present to others is universal love love all without any differentiation difference you see identification with my body makes me feel i am different from the rest of the universe i am part and parcel of this universe i can never be separate from this universe every level if you study upanishads you see seasons how we are related to uh, planetary movements how we are everything we are deeply in the related with the uh, whole cosmic existence so this is one part of our life so universal love and faith and love for god something transcendental nature three things are humanity love humanity love nature love god these thing has to come you will get absolute peace absolute peace absolute bliss if you bring these three things in your life and that is what we have to give to our next generation this is what we see we have to change ourselves before we change our children now we will move to children hmm. how to bring about uh, transformation in our children we have to give them their identity <laughs> just like we have lost our identity as parents hmm. now we have to uh, we have to gain our uh, identity as parents and develop that parenthood perfectly hmm 
children must be so happy and remember throughout their life, I had a mother, I had a father, I had a teacher who taught me. Uh, they must be grateful for their lives and lives. So that kind of uh, parent life or teacher life we have to develop. Then coming to the children, we have to give their identity. First thing is turn them to them themselves. Their whole attention is on the external world. What do I get? Huh? How do the people praise me? Uh, um, what, uh, what way I can present myself to this world? That's all they are concerned about. Oh, how the parents will look after me? If I get low, low marks, how they will treat me? If I get my... Just uh, this, is, this is not life at all. We have to bring about tremendous transformation. First thing is to turn the torch to themselves. Give them their own identity. Child, you see that Madalasa, how she is to bring up the child. When child is to weep in the cradle, she will tell, uh, why are you weeping, my child? You are eternal. You are full within yourself. Uh, why are you weeping? So that kind of uh, Nityosi, Buddhosi, Niranjanosi, Kim Nama Rodhisi, why are you weeping, my child? You are Nitya, you are Buddha. Divine divinity is within you. Awaken that divinity. Each child grows by the time he is coming to youth, he is enlightened Buddha. Uh, so, so, like that, you have to give them their identity, slowly introduce that you are divine, you are divine. Look within, look within. So, that kind of understanding we have to present to them. Next thing is uh, self mastery and self conquest. Uh, we teach them how to conquer the world, how to conquer others. I see small children going to going for karate and all that. It is necessary, but uh, they must be taught more to love than to fight. Love can conquer anybody. The other day, we went to some place um, in San Francisco, Sacramento. Um, we were in the park. There were uh, some uh, homeless people and all that. They were frightening. Children said, we'll go away, we'll go away. The way in which they were behaving, Wildly, one is moving about with a knife. The children were forcing, we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, we'll not stay here. And they are karate students. <laughs> what karate, what courage? You see, what happens is, the fear comes because of lack of love. Suppose Buddha was there, a saint was there, how he would have welcomed them. Perhaps he would have gone to them and spoken to them. We are afraid and we run away. That much of capacity our children must have to transform through love than to force. You can't force. Even military, you cannot change the nature of man. It has to be, it has to come from within. So you must self-conquest. You must conquer yourself. My inner enemies are there. External nature is there. Conquer, conquer. Once you conquer yourself, you see how you have to teach is, I went to one um, devotee's house. It was birthday of a boy, small child, boy. He was studying in fifth standard. He had two more twin brothers who are in, in studying in first standard. So the mother has to go for a job, father has to go for a job. So every day, Sunday they will make idli duff dough and keep it in the fridge. Every day they will put idli 
in the morning and sambar. That is the thing for the whole day. Uh, they used to call it uh, poor man's cake. <laughs> PMC, PMC. Today also PMC, they will say. Children. I went that day. Their parents have to go by 8 o'clock. I went at 7.30. And uh, for me, I was sitting on a sofa. A uh, teapot I was kept. They had kept idli sambar on the table. All the three children and father sat eating. Mother was putting them. And inside on the stove, she put with the same batter one dosa for me. Then the, that sound came. All children looked curiously. Oh, what is happening in kitchen? That fine fragrance of oil. Huh. One of the small one, young one, he said, Amma, one dosa for me. The mother was surprised. She was, first dosa was over. She put it in the, on the um, plate and brought and kept before me. And straight away went to the kitchen, put off the stove and went to that boy. The boy was frightened. Amma, Amma, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. He started telling. Mother said, see, am I angry on you? I am so calm. I want to ask you a question. I have come. I am not angry. I don't feel bad that you asked for a dosa. But tell me, I have to told you my what is mind. I have told what is senses. She has course. Every day she sits and teaches them. What are the layers of our existence? Body, mind, senses, all this. Clearly she explains. Children, all the three will sit and listen. So mother is asking, uh, I told you what is uh, mind, what is senses. Who is asking now for dosa? The child, uh, my senses, my tongue is asking for the taste. <laughs> what is happening to your mind? Mind is going behind the senses. It also wants dosa. What about your intellect? Buddhi. Buddhi has become Brahmita. It has got deluded seeing the dosa. How analyzing you see that child and how the mother has taught you see. Now, you, mother is telling, now you want to win or you want the senses to win? The child said, no, I want to win. Then do you want dosa? He said, no, I don't want dosa. Then mother is explaining, idli and dosa is giving same amount of energy for you, same amount of nutrition. Why did you ask for dosa? My senses were tempting me. The small child is telling, five-year-old child. Huh? Now, when I came and asked, uh, the moment I came, you told, I don't want, I don't want. Now also you are telling, I don't want. What is the difference? Then out of fear, I told. Now out of wisdom, I am telling. <laughs> First when he told, mother came. Out of fear, he is telling, I don't want, I don't want. Now I am telling out of wisdom. This is how we make them conquer themselves. So this, you must adopt your own way. This is in psychology, if you study psychology, a great new modern latest developments are there. It is called shaping the child. Shaping, an important part of psychology. How will you, what are the steps you are going to change their nature or anything you want to change? How will you change? So this is how we bring about transformation, emotional we because children start weeping for small things. You see, I was in uh, Kamarpukur, uh, important center. There, I was looking after uh, cash and accounts in our mat, um, Kamarpukur mat. And one auditor used to come every year, stay there for one week and finish all the accounts and go. He had two daughters, one elder, one younger. 
small. The elder is studying in second standard, younger is studying in um, KG2. So, elder had come with the father. She was alone, she was feeling lonely, but she was happy because others, all monks and the brahmacharis, uh, his father alone sitting with the books all the time. So I saw her and called her. I am free, I am in cash and accounts. So father will be sitting in one room, I will be sitting in the next room. And then that girl came. I told, uh, I gave her a few chocolates. She took the chocolates and just to look here, there, I thought she's going to eat now. <laughs> then she told, Swamiji, I'll come in a minute. I said, all right. I, I was confirmed that she's going to eat the chocolate and come. She saw a boy sitting outside and she went and gave the chocolates to that boy and came. I was observing what is she is doing. He is a beggar boy sitting at the gate. She is second standard girl. I thought this girl is not an ordinary girl. Children will never part with the uh, chocolates given to them. And then I asked, what did you do with the chocolates? She said, while coming inside, I saw a boy sitting there. Uh, he is just looking at me. He did not ask or beg. He just sitting. So I thought I'll give him and come. Then I used to, I told one story to her. She used to tell one story to me. Hmm. Then she told, she used to tell one story, its moral and one example from her own life. I was so much I used to weep when she explains the stories. And then one small incident with respect to we love, we should love all. One incident she told, uh, her mother was ill. One doctor came to test her and all. He gave her some prescription and was sitting. Father gave a cup of uh, coffee and he was drinking, she saw this girl standing in a corner and watching the whole thing. He called her, come here. Then she went to the doctor, he gave one chocolate to her and said, asked her, what is your name, this, that and all. She took and she asked the doctor, why did you give this chocolate to me? The doctor said, I love you. She asked, do you love all? He said, yes. Suppose a shabby boy in the street, full of dirt, comes to you. Will you treat him in the same way you are treating me? He was puzzled. <laughs> what to answer? He said, no, I can't. Then, Dr. Babu, tumi ki jane na. you don't know what is love. Doctor, you don't know what is love. See, a small girl telling how their parents might have brought up, showing a very bit of the world and what, how the emotions. It was her birthday, you know, one girl's birthday in school. Another incident. She, one week, we whole week we spent together. Huh? girl's birthday, she has called all, she is a second standard girl, she has called all children of second standard to her house, uh, their aristocratic family. So you, on a large scale things are going on. One girl has come from first standard with her sister and she is wearing, all are wearing gorgeous dresses and all that. She is wearing neat and clean, simple clothing. That has already created differentiation. Uh, the girl who is uh, who was invited, she saw her in simple dress. 
uh, not much ornament this that and all and then she has uh, this uh, talking this and welcoming everything over they went for uh, tea cake cutting everything was over and then uh, she the presents they give everybody will be giving presents she used to say thank you thank you keep everything and when this girl gave she took it hmm. she kept like this that Pallavi has observed, no other children have observed. A few who were around, they smiled like this. It insulted her so much, she could not bear. But she silently was standing, what to do, how to go back. Shall I run away or what? Then all went for tea, she called everyone, went inside. She did not call only this girl. She was simply alone. She was standing in that uh, visiting room, visitor's room. All went for tea. Pallavi saw her standing alone. She came running. Oh, come, we'll go for tea. She took her. Somebody in that great uh, distress, you see, in that somebody helping. She went with her. She took uh, tea and all. She made her comfortable. And while going, they were giving parting presents. The girl herself was standing. She was giving everyone. Uh, when this girl came, she was not willing to give the parting presents. She, out of uh, contempt, she gave and said, uh, uh, she said, I will go. Uh, uh, she said, you go. If you want, your present is there, what you are given, you can take and go. That made her to weep like anything. She wept like anything and ran away from that door. And Pallavi saw this. If she goes behind her, she will be in bad books. She waited for a minute and told her friend, I will come in a minute and went away. Slowly she walked. And crossing the road, she ran behind that girl, caught hold of that girl, and what is this you are weeping? Uh, whoever has whatever, they will give. You have love. Why don't you give love? She has hatred within her. For that are you weeping? She may hate you, but can't you give love? This is the test in your life. You must be able to give. You should have been able to give love. Have you seen any saint being insulted? He will take revenge or will weep. He will give you love in return. Can't you love? You have love. Give her to give her love. Then she consoled her. She said, don't expect anything from anyone in this world. Don't accept anything. If you accept praise today, you have to accept the uh, blame tomorrow. Don't expect or accept anything. Just leave it to God. Whatever anybody gives, offer it to God. Be happy within yourself. Inner peace and inner joy you should not miss. She left her. She went up to her house, left her and came back to this girl's house. And girl was taking out all things. One by one opening and see, she has not opened the, this one, hers. That was a small packet. First one, she big, opened the big one. A big blanket was there. She kept it one by one, sweets, this, that, dolls. And finally, she opened it. There was a um, uh, perfume. She pressed it. The whole room became fragrant. Then Pallavi was observing her. Pallavi said, how sweet, no? She said, yes. You know who has given that? Yes. But you made her to weep and go? What shall I do? I am sorry. Come, come with me. We will go to her house. You tell her sorry and come. She took her to her house, made her friends, made them friends again. 
made her to tell sorry and come. What must, how must their parents have brought? As second standard girl, she is taking classes at home for the smaller children around the house. No, every day mother will give them all uh, sweets and this one, children who come. No expectation, no receiving any gifts from any children, but she does. See, this is what life we have to teach to our children. How they have to, um, how emotionally we have to back them, how physically we have to back them, everything. This is the way we bring up our children. So give them first their own identity and change their uh, nature. And one more thing we have to remember is the commitment. Uh, be committed to you. Wherever you are, a student going to school, be committed to your studies. Do all your great perfection, sacrifice, love, you do. Mm. Um, I saw the my host when she came first here. Uh, no friends, no, nobody. Husband has gone to office the second day of their coming, and child was had fever, and she has become unconscious. She goes out and sees nobody in the street or around. She shouts in top of the voice standing on the street, help, help, nobody help. And some person from far off sees and comes running and asks, what is the problem? My child is unconscious. Bring, I have a car, we'll go to the hospital. By the time they reach the, the, his house with the child, uh, an ambulance and police van has come there. They have seen in the CC camera, a girl shouting in the street and they have arrived there. Within seconds, within minutes, they are there. They are, by the time they can take the car out, the vehicle is there asking, well, what, what, what is the problem? The child is, they put in the van and send it. Commitment. Do we see this commitment in our life? In India, do we see? How many times we have to ring up to the police? How much of bribe we have to give? Uh, there it is nothing. So this commitment, we, I saw recently, our uh, Madhumatya Ma showed me a video of Pejavar Mat Swamiji. Ashtamat is there in uh, Madhvacharyas. Pejavar Mat Swamiji, his last days of his life, he is not able to sit. Uh, Balchandra Maharaj, if he is there, he will show you. Mm. See, he is, he is doing Krishna Puja. Lying down. that time he is not able to sit he is totally sick he is doing krishna puja this is commitment hmm. So this is commitment. Guru has told you have to do every day worship of Krishna. I am leaving this seat for you. Now at that age, who can do? We have you seen our elders or anybody doing to that text commitment, commitment. I am committed to it. That is the life of a saint. A life of a perfect ideal householder is committed. 
total commit we have to bring that commitment in, uh, in the life of our children that is an important part that we have to play in our lives mm. child be committed to your whatever be your duties when you go to the office work be totally see i was when i finished my education family conditions had deteriorated and i had to go for job i used to get 150 rupees i used to work from morning 5:30 to night 11:30 alone with a boy i established one uh, industry only building was there no other people and i whole day and night almost by the time i come home it will be 11:30 12 o'clock so years and years i did not see sunrise or sunset so that commitment i have to they are giving me my salary i have to do my best to give my what i have to give me similarly in my our spiritual life in whatever life we are there be committed to it wholly dedicate yourself hmm this is and insist on quality of life quality of life than on achievements achievements are necessary but the aspirations you have to convert in such a way the aspirations are social which do does good to the humanity god centered and humanity centered nature centered love nature love humanity let your all achievements be a sacrifice unto the whole world so that kind of uh, giving must be there uh, aspirations must be there but they should not be self centered aspirations world centered aspiration aspirations achievements we need but quality of life is more important to us than how what i achieve in my life i may get lot of money but my life is not good it is i am not happy within then there is of no use see we see the samskara giving we have the samskara giving uh, prior to getting a child parents sit for prayers anything to enter our being that is uh, my every cell of my body contains the whole blueprint of my whole existence my every bit of information is there in every cell taking out one cell i can clone and get my own body again whole information is there and to make an idea or awareness enter that cell level of existence we takes 48 days and it is called mandala Uh, one mandala suppose you want to learn one music or one raga spontaneous it has to come you will go and sit in a place and morning till night you will be immersed in that raga for 48 days then it has become cell level and that cell is going to my children 20% of the traits of the child belongs to parents dna and cell you must have studied that is different subject but we have to see that when we get a child when does the samskara begin is before getting a child i have to transfer i must be in divine awareness and loving so much loving everyone that i conceive at that time both parents there it begins the garbhadhana begins Uh, i had written one in last rites for uh, our harina manjha had written one this one maharaj will you uh, can you make it uh, see the whole thing 
सी गर्भधान प्रेजेंट इंग ए बॉडी दैट नीड्स दैट पेरेंट्स मस्ट बी वेरी नाइस दिस इज दी वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डू विद चिल्ड्रन पुमसना द सेकेंड सेरेमनी दैट इज मेकिंग यू मेकिंग द चाइल्ड इन द गर्भ ट्यून विद द नेचर i become aware of the nature uh, the ceremony is such that beautiful ceremony hmm pumsavana in that pumsavana we the mother becomes fully aware of the nature she becomes she goes in tune with the nature so that child becomes in tune with the nature then simanno simanto nayana simanta unnayana Hmm. That is to become in tune with divine. Two things are there: divine and nature, who is participating in me and my child's growth. Nature is there, God is there, divine. So one is becoming. This is the only prenatal. Afterwards, all other as jati karma and others. After the child gets the birth. So these two are important things when the child is. in the garbha it must become it must be aware of the his uh, mind must form in such a way and uh, in simantonnayana uh, uh, ceremony they by split the hairs hmm and there you will see the uh, uniform development of the two sides of the brain the love and the intelligence to grow in tune with each other and to be in tune with the god the all pervading divinity uh, then jat karma naming ceremony all this come one by one so uh, upanayana ee vidyarambha all these are so important thing we will discuss some other time if god gives an opportunity Hmm. But how we are going to give this samskara? As we see, the twenty-five percent belongs to parents, and the rest belong. He, the child comes with his own past uh, software. Twenty percent belongs to parents. Huh. After what he gains is from the environment in which he is growing. All traits are imbibed from the here. after the child is born during infancy five years most important period you have to shape the child from what he has brought the software all the you you have lived a divine life uh, to that extent you are given the already divinity uh, but he has come with certain all the negative tendencies you have to eliminate from that child all the positive to store and give protection from the external world influencing him in wrong way where the samskaras begin you see so this is how we have great responsibilities at every stage of child so the life must be now you see in the indian system hindu system giving um, uh, this one samskara is at three level one is personality development which all people are interested now personality development personality development will make world accept you but person's transformation must be there person's transformation will make him accept the world world accepting the person and him accepting the world is different i must accept the world as it is love it what is my part i have no complaints about this world god is looking after everyone nature is there who am i who am i to comment or tell i have only right to serve i have come to serve and give everything is acceptable as it is to me that kind of awareness you must give to the children accept the world as it is my child do your duty offer it to the divine love all 
expand your heart expand your intelligence so this three things we in samskara giving the shodash samskara we are giving three things we aim at transformation of person personality development and equipping the child with a beautiful life life is there apart from person and personality he has to live a life uh, in kannada we have three terms ಬದುಕೋದು ಬಾಳು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಜೀವನ ಬದುಕೋದು ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಈವನ್ ಡಾಗ್ಸ್ ನಾಯಿಗಳು ಬದುಕತ್ತೆ ದೇ ಲಿವ್ ಆಲ್ ಲಿವ್ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೆ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಬಾಳು ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ವಿತ್ ಆಲ್ ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಕಂಪ್ಯಾಟಬಲಿ ಲವಿಂಗ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ and the third is apart from the life is there how he lives when he is there with others when he is alone uh, what is the aim how he has imbibed the values how he has he is living for an ideal that becomes an important part so in uh, this three important transformation children you have to bring up is develop their personality we will take up the personality development separately <laughs> this is training the parents <laughs> so this is an important part uh, personality development the team must be perfect in everywhere acceptable to everyone he is sacrificing life of sacrifice everywhere when he becomes family when he gets children he must do his duties lovingly everywhere that sacrifice must be there and love and sacrifice hmm. so and per- person's transformation i must undergo transformation there will be three natures in everyone animal nature animal hood human hood and divine hood we have to destroy the animal hood transcend the human hood and manifest the inner divinity hmm. this an important that is transformation within the person because personality development may be great but when time comes everything becomes i may not i know how to behave with people everything i am highly skilled i can manage things everything when i get angry everything will go away when i am insulted when i am deprived of my rights uh, what will be the fate you see my personality personality is rooted like tree but when the wind comes every branch and every leaf shakes but when person changes it doesn't happen person has become gold now to make your next generation gold is your part uh, so transform and give them life give them ultimate goal of life you must transcend the nature and go beyond my child you have become you must become enlightened you must be able to wipe the tears of thousands of people don't have any expectations from anybody sir 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 you have come to give my child why are you begging on the, in the street he like this for little love or little money give up these things god will take care of you earn righteously hmm. work wherever you work whatever you do let it be a sacrifice unto god let it be a sacrifice unto the nature hmm. so this is how you bring about and five types of developments the child has to undergo physical intellectual moral emotional and spiritual physical till the last day of life huh, he must be of perfect health you must be able to serve not receive the services little disgusted mind is sufficient to make him bedridden give that all strength that he is healthy till the last hmm. then uh, intellectual to face any problem and solve any problem calmly without getting affected inner peace and inner joy must not be affected 
let problems come we are humans we'll solve what is there the child must take it so easily not get worked up even as parents you should never get worked up never show a unhealthy face to anybody at any time that is an important duty of an householder to be always smiling smiling last also when you leave your body smile at others and say bye <laughs> that much of uh, we that much of transformation you also have to get up and intelligence uh, to the extent you must be able to understand things at just at a look uh, clearly the intellectual development must be very nice it is what we get in school and colleges is only information growth of intelligence actually takes place only up to the age of 5 iq gets fixed then a person who is getting 45 will continue to get 45 90% 90 will continue throughout the school so uh, the first 5 years is intelligence after knowledge grows intelligence to grow you have to take special steps within 5 years you must make that child bloom in everything intelligence he must be able to small small things like opening a switch and resetting uh, now only we give mobile and computer touch screen uh, where all intelligent is lost forever uh, you must make them work uh, go to the to take care of the plants this that love and intelligence you have to grow then moral time is go, growing another 15 minutes i may take uh, um, moral moral is there should not be any harm to you and to others no harm from you that is moral hmm. uh, i smoke what is it to you they should not ask it is nothing to me but it should not harm you also it should not harm you by bad habits is going to harm you not others ma ma battery is going low madhumate ma battery is growing low ha uh-huh. ha correct hmm hmm so moral physical intellectual moral this we can take some time detailed uh, just i am giving you a first view has to be presented little ne- next then emotional and spiritual emo- em- emotional to love and be loved to love and be loved this is how to manage our from the narcissistic stage at the birth to the matured state stage of parental love how it changes you see parental love is where nothing is expected narcissistic stage is the child's which is six appreciation <laughs> it jumps and dances to get appreciation that makes us in later days also to dislike uh, he uh, comments on us or insults i am not able to bear uh, just because of this narcissistic stage of uh, uh, seeking appreciation mm. so it last in the love comes to the matured state of uh, not seeking anything but wishing everything and beyond that is the love of the saints which is 100 times the love of mother 1000 times the love of mother mm. which only even if you beat they will bless you in return insult or do anything in return they have only blessings and love for you beyond that is the love of god which constantly strives that you must express your inner divinity so emotional this one you have to manage at every stage of development and finally spiritual who am i 
how the individual consciousness separates when we sleep totally i am a different person living in different plane of existence i am in subtle world of the ideas and thoughts they have nothing to do with this world or this body physical body i am in, i am a subtle body in the subtle body with subtle when i go to deep sleep i am in the causal body and the causal plane of existence i am entirely different personality different state of my existence so what who am I? how i withdraw from the body how i identify the dream body in dream state how i become unaware of everything in deep sleep how i project back who am i in this body when i wake up how do i identify with this body what am i in this body where from i came where am i going this knowledge slowly dive within find out yourself my child go deep within and see that you are eternal you are divine you are pure your karmas are nothing stain you it may stain your body stain your mind but inside all are saints discover that so this is spiritual this is the ultimate goal of human existence in and through all other goals are and finally we will just see uh, actually it is my own writing uh, i have made a table of urges because we have to deal with ourselves in our life uh, we struggle 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 whole life to conquer you are about to be signed out <laughs> so uh, this whole thing is i can say it is uh, my life's reflection how i grew how i changed my what are the urges physical urge biological urge social urge emotional urge moral urge creative urge intellectual urge aesthetic urge spiritual urge what it means and how we conquer how we utilize the lower three physical biological physical is hunger thirst and all biological to get we get children social to be somebody in the society emotional to be loved and loved moral to be good creative to do something new which nobody has done intellectual to know everything aesthetic to beautify spiritual to all these urges are in human so because you people don't get time i have struggled and done this table for your sake uh, utilize all this mm, this is the essence of the whole human existence uh, um, balchandra maharaj that is uh, vibhudanand ji maharaj will send you these uh, to uh, this one i think mm. and finally see that you and all others accept the world as it is love it and give your all to this world bring up the new generation whomever you see whomever whoever comes to you must get transformed my child come come whoever it is when you move in the street just look at the children with a kind uh, sight need, need not speak need not uh, just pray for their welfare that will bring transformation in them you are not met them they are not met you you are going in a car you saw, saw a child just love it mentally that will make you a real parent it will transform the child whom for whom on whom the your eyes have fallen hmm. so this is life this is thing we have to do all right uh, uh swami ji shall we yes. have at least a couple of questions oh yes welcome welcome uh, because they said something uh, your time is becoming Yes. No, we hmm. have fifteen minutes as per the yeah. time. Very good. Very good. Yeah. So, any any questions anybody can ask now. Yes. Unmute and you can ask. 
अरे I think Swamiji made it so clear that there are no questions. It was so clear and crystal, I should say. <laughs> so Swami, in yeah. that case, shall I request Dr. Uma Prasad, one of our directors of Vidyani Ketanam, to thank Swamiji for this one. Can I ask a question? Sure, sure. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like the whole, this one, so divine uh, lecture. This is Naresh. Yes. I have just one question. Okay. Uh, when you said without the love, there is a fear. Fear. That that part I like the most. Like in um, Ram Charit Manas also in Sundar Khan, it is said that Bhai Bina Ho in Apriti. So is it because of fear you have love or because of love you, uh, you have a lack of fear? That's what I just had a question on. Yes. See, intellect and we have three channels to the divine one is intellect uh, jnana marga we say mm. through intellect we try to enter uh, transcend the nature and go beyond another is heart love another channel we can link to the transcendental realm realm mm. it not only to the world it takes you beyond the nature. Intellect also can take you beyond the nature. And another is walk, speech. It's also linked to the depth of your being, to the consciousness, directly linked to the consciousness. These three channels. So the intellect belongs to nature. It is not our own. Uh, I utilize it. Nature has given me a vehicle to transcend the nature and go. This is intellect, but it belongs to nature. And walk belongs to the both nature and the divine. It is expressed para pasyanti madhyama vaikari. It comes to the mouth. For so uh, it is different levels of walk. It emerges from the consciousness Chaitanya and comes to the vocal level of sound. And another cha channel is our own, that is love. Love is manifestation of the Atman. It has nothing to do the, with the world or world's fear or our own fear of existence, nothing it is. It is love. It is your yourself uh, becoming Dravi Bhuta and flowing out. You are melting yourself and flowing out. Uh, this love is blocked by our external layers, body, mind, senses, and all these layers block because I want to love someone. Each one demands its share. Body wants its share in loving. Mind wants, the senses want their share. And by the time love comes out, it will be few drops Version of love is within, but a few drops come and ultimately the object whom we are loving will disappear one day. It will never get fulfillment. When it is universal love, love towards all, unconditional love, whatever you are, still I love you. You go against me, yes, I love you. Uh, you want to, you hate me, yes, doesn't matter, I love you. That unconditional love and universal love, which doesn't differentiate between person and person, ugly, beautiful, educated, uneducated, fallen, saint, anybody. I saw Swami Ranganath Ananji Maharaj in his youth, not at the prime of his youth, I was a brahmachari. Never differentiated between a beggar and president of India, prime minister of India. Same attitude, a man and woman, a child and old man, man, same attention, same love, same sacrifice. So love is manifestation of the Atman. It has nothing to do with the fear. Fear comes only at the level of mind, externally. 
Wow, All wow. right. It's beautiful, beautifully explained. I'm so grateful to hear this. <laughs> Hmm. Very clear now. Swamiji. Yes. My name is Bhagya. I am from Atlanta. I have one question about the kids. Yes, um, yes. Here in Atlanta, like in America, we bring up the kids. How much ever we give culture at home, once they start going to the school, they pick up things from like school because so many hours they spend in the school. So yes. how do we make them so strong that the external, like in, they will not get influenced by the outside hmm. world? Yes, you must give tremendous strength from inside. Uh, first thing is conquer them through love. They must feel, uh, only my mother loves me. And that love they must remember in whole life after spending, they must say, nobody loved me like my, 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 my mother. That kind of love you must conquer them. Every mother has conquered the child through love. Every saint has conquered a dirty, worst person in the world, most sinner, through love and transformed. So, first thing. Next thing is from inside. See, that inner bala, uh, that is Sharirika Shakti, Sharira Bala, Bahu Bala will not work. Hmm. Mano Bala will not work. Atma Bala, ultimately you have to go to the Atma Bala. Make them manifest the inner divinity slowly. First thing is, we must live a perfect life, disciplined life. Hmm. That they must be, I never sat. I think he dropped off. Oh, yes. I think Swamiji will join back from TAP probably. I'll tell, I'll request them. Amma, recordings, Tagitum Kartum Shakti. Ah, Astu Karishyam, Kadeva, I am Chintyanti. 